I going to show you how the ESV perversion of God's word actually teaches Luciferian doctrine? Plain and simple. This is more reasons why you know they call it the easy, you know they call it the English Standard Version, but I call it the extremely satanic version. That's what I say ESV stands for. And here's just more proof of that right now. It teaches full on Luciferian doctrine. So first of all, uh, let's establish a premise here. The KGB states that the saint is to be a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians chapter eleven verse one says, "Be followers of me." even I, as I also am of Christ. So like I was saying, we see that in that verse there, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1, says be followers of God. And we're going to see this other theme in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. It says, be therefore followers of God as dear children. And the other verse on the matter, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. And ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much, in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost. So we see the thing of being followers there. Now notice how the ESV actually perverts these verses into teaching that the saint has to, quote, imitate God or be an imitator of God, which is nothing more than the Luciferian lie that Satan told in Genesis chapter 3, verse 5, when he said, ye shall be as gods. He told that to Eve. Okay, now let's go to Ephesians, sorry, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1 in the ESV. Let's see what it says. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1 in the ESV. It says, Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. So you're supposed to imitate Christ because Paul says to be imitators of me as I am of Christ in that verse there. In the ESV, the extremely satanic version. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1, again in the ESV. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children. And of course, we also have, again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6 says the same Luciferian heresy, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6, And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for you received the word in much affliction with the joy of the Holy Spirit. Again, imitators, supposed to imitate God. You mean, ye shall be as gods, Genesis 3, 5. Now, why is this Luciferian doctrine, I might add? Well, because according to the scriptures, true Satanism, you see, Satanism is not Marilyn Manson or Anton LaVey or some of these other guys. Uh, true Satanism, according to God's word, is the satanic doctrine of trying to become like God, basically. And that's what also what sinless perfectionism is as well. It's Luciferian doctrine. Uh, because Satan's desire has always been to become like the Most High God. You can read about that in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 to 15, and Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 2 to 18. You know, Satan is always desired to become like God. And likewise, he teaches, he tells Eve, you shall be as gods. And likewise, Satan's children will want to become like gods. Hence why the Catholic Catechism in paragraph 460 talks about becoming like God. Hinduism teaches the same thing. Buddhism, I mean, all that stuff. What is Luciferianism? And the ESV is teaching Luciferian doctrine. You're supposed to imitate God. You know, ye shall be as gods, plain and simple. Hence why, again, I say the ESV stands for extremely satanic version. Because it's satanic and from the pit of hell, plain and simple. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.